Perched over 1 million miles from Earth and outfitted with a golden mirror over 21 feet wide, the James Webb Space Telescope is rewriting our understanding of the ancient universe. Since its successful launch and deployment last December, Webb has peered deeper into the cosmos than any instrument before it, gazing back over 13 billion years to the first light of the fledgling cosmos. The unprecedented clarity of its observations is unlocking long-held mysteries and challenging prevailing paradigms established over decades of astronomical study. Though only the first data set has been released, astronomers are already astounded by what Webb is revealing about the mysterious galaxies that populated the young universe. Among its most stunning finds are observations of some of the earliest galaxies to form after the Big Bang, situated a staggering 13 billion light years away. At such a remove, we see these systems not as they are today, but as they existed just 500 million years after the onset of cosmic inflation. When the universe was still in its infancy, far more than mere points of light, Webb's infrared optics render fine details with clarity that surpasses Hubble. From coherent spiral arms to regions of star formation across these nascent galaxies, perhaps most surprising is that these early systems contained significantly fewer heavy elements like carbon and oxygen relative to their stellar mass, elements thought to be fundamental building blocks for all galaxies across cosmic time. This unexpected discovery challenges two long-held assumptions in astronomy. First, it contradicts the prevailing model that predicts a steady relationship between a galaxy's mass and metallicity, the ratio of heavy elements within its stars. Observations of galaxies spanning 90% of the universe's history have shown a direct correlation. More massive galaxies generally contain higher proportions of metals due to efficient recycling of gas and subsequent nucleosynthesis within older stellar populations. However, these earliest galaxies did not follow this established pattern. Their lack of heavy elements indicates stellar populations that ineffectively recycled star-forming gas into new metals through fusion, calling into question our understanding of chemical enrichment across cosmic evolution. Secondly, Webb revealed a lack of correlation between a galaxy's number of stars and its metallicity, a fundamental relationship thought to be consistent even in the earliest epochs. Theoretical models have long posited that metallicity should scale directly with total stellar mass, as fusion gradually builds heavier elements with each new stellar generation. But these adolescent systems did not follow this predicted association. Taken together, these unexpected findings support the idea that galaxies in the first billion years underwent dramatic fluctuations rather than existing in an ordered, quasi-equilibrium state as envisioned in standard models. It appears the early cosmic environment was far more turbulent and dynamic than conceived. Deeper scrutiny of these unprecedented observations has exciting implications. They align with emerging theoretical frameworks, suggesting the first galaxies were still actively assembling, with star formation occurring erratically rather than in a smooth, monotonic manner. In such a scenario, stellar populations and heavy element content could vary widely and independently between galaxies as they accreted primordial gas and merging components in the collisional dark ages preceding reionization. This turbulent assembly phase may help explain the puzzling lack of correlation between quantities previously thought to scale directly with one another. By highlighting inconsistencies with established models, these observations lend empirical validity to theorists, advancing new cosmological paradigms depicting early galaxy evolution as unstable and chaotic, rather than ordered and continuous as often assumed. Furthermore, the unique ability of Webb to capture light emitted over 13 billion years ago provides an unparalleled glimpse into this transformative epoch predating the peak period of starbirth. The observatory thus functions as a literal time machine, transporting astronomers back to a critical juncture when the first significant generation of stars were beginning to impact surrounding gas through supernovae explosions and winds. Their output inflated surrounding bubbles and gradually ionized regions before radiation from mature galaxies fully ryanized the neutral hydrogen pervading intergalactic space. Careful spectral analysis of light from these nascent systems has potential to discern the chemical signatures of these first light stars and the seeds of heavy elements implanted across the fledgling universe. Over the next years, as further observations are conducted, 
more data will refine old models or introduce entirely new theoretical frameworks. The combination of unprecedented clarity and vast surveying power granted by Webb ensures it will continue honing our view of galaxy evolution across the sweeping panorama of cosmic time. Its methodical multi-wavelength studies will increasingly resolve field galaxies back to the earliest epochs of star formation, painting a granular portrait of assembly histories as vast, dark matter halos aggregated primordial gas into tangled networks of filaments, with gravity dragging clouds together to illuminate the slowly brightening cosmos. Studying light that left these distant galaxies when the universe was in its dynamical infancy provides critical clues to test complex simulations of structure formation. Early galaxy observations offer a unique perspective on the transitionary phase when mysterious dark matter began dominating dynamics and seeding the seeds of galaxies we see today via gravitational fragmentation and shock heating. Their anomalous composition and arrangement hint at an extended period driven more by stochastic gas distribution than smooth collapse modeled in idealized scenarios. Features like clumpy stellar halos, irregular morphologies, and hierarchical build-up timescales could betray greater stochasticity at play during this pivotal cosmic dawn. As different cosmological instruments extend multi-wavelength observations of statistically significant galaxy samples into the first 450, 500 million years, discrepancies discovered by Webb will motivate new hydrodynamical simulations to validate theoretical modeling. More sophisticated simulations involving varying initial mass functions, feedback mechanisms, and evolutionary pathways may eventually account for the unexpected diversity seen even in these first generations of galaxies. Their irregular, fluctuating nature challenges established conceptions of equilibrium and points to a protracted initial phase, radically reshaping galaxy populations over time through merging and runaway star formation episodes influenced by complex baryonic feedback. Such considerations make Webb critical for peering into a transformative epoch bridging the initial dark ages following recombination to the epoch of reionization, when light from early stars began illuminating and heating the surrounding medium. The observatory opens new vistas to test theoretical expectations against empirical constraints from some of the earliest observed instances of hierarchical structure growth. Its continued multi-epoch, multi-object campaigns surveying representative volumes will clarify the sequence and timing of key events like initial star formation, and transition to population 2 of progenitors versus more metal-enriched population 1 stars. Correlating these in situ results with local archaeological evidence embedded in Milky Way stellar populations continues unraveling one of astronomy's greatest mysteries regarding our origins in a fledgling universe. Perhaps most profoundly, Webb captures the imaginations of both experts and laypeople alike transporting terrestrial observers across the eons to witness galaxies in their emergent youth, enlightening a universe still pervaded by primordial fog. Its stunning imagery reaffirms humanity's perpetual awe and quest to comprehend our significance against the vast tableau of cosmic evolution from the Big Bang aftermath to present day. While questions will remain in the search for answers, Webb has ushered in a new era where we can step closer to solving astronomy's grandest puzzle how simple beginnings gave rise to complex structures across 13.8 billion years in an ongoing cosmic advent ripe with curiosity and discovery. Its debut observations of ancient galaxies are but an enticing prelude to the insights yet to be revealed as further campaigns systematically explore this transformative epoch through light which has traversed the millennia to bring us a glimpse of cosmic genesis. We have only begun to unlock the mysteries of the early universe with Webb's first awe-inspiring images. As more data is analyzed and additional targets are observed, our understanding of cosmic origins will be transformed. This space observatory is pushing scientific frontiers in ways that will inspire wonder for generations to come. I hope you have enjoyed this glimpse into astronomy's expansive unknown and are as excited as I am to see what new discoveries await in the terabytes of data still to come from our one million mile outpost in orbit. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the video queued up on your screen now for another adventure beyond our world. Finally, I pose this question for you to contemplate and share your thoughts in the comments below.
What other secrets do you think future observations from Webb may reveal about that transformative epoch after the Big Bang birth of our still unfolding cosmos? Our exploration of the ancient universe has only just begun. Until next time, keep looking up.